Since its premiere, the film Dark Waters has touched the lives of millions with one simple truth. This level of political corruption has essentially poisoned people's blood. For decades, companies have polluted our water with dangerous chemicals known as PFAS or forever chemicals. The film Dark Waters tells the story of Rob Blot, played by Mark Ruffalo, a corporate defense attorney turned environmental hero after committing his life to defending the public from forever chemicals. DuPont is knowingly poisoning 70,000 local residents for the last 40 years. With the film in hand, we created the Fight Forever Chemicals campaign to sound the alarm on a public health crisis that has been unspoken and invisible. Basically, what they call forever chemicals are long chain fluorocarbons designed to withstand any kind of breakdown. Together with our partners around the world, we asked audiences to join us in the fight. New communities are waking up almost every day. In the U.S., we encouraged consumers to stop buying products made with forever chemicals and gave them a way to reach out to their own representatives to create change. We traveled to D.C., where Mark, Rob, and a host of other advocates met with lawmakers on the Hill to create the change we all need. The most important source of information about the threats posed by these chemicals comes from the industry itself. We've seen it on DuPont and 3M letterhead. We know that these chemicals cause cancer because they knew. We visited key cities across the globe while mobilizing community members, activists, and lawmakers to lift up the stories of those directly affected by Forever Chemicals. We are Dark Waters. Launching the Why We Fight series. I fight for my family. I fight for justice and accountability. My mother was pregnant while she directly worked with the chemical. I fight for life. They're calling on state lawmakers to address public health concerns and hold polluters accountable. The taxpayers shouldn't be the ones paying for these costs. It should be the chemical manufacturers, and we need to keep driving for action. Dark Waters shares the story about one community in Parkersburg, West Virginia, but it's really telling the story of something that's happening all across the world. In Europe, we presented to the European Parliament. More and more evidence is put there that these group of chemicals can have serious health effects. Unbelievable that we have allowed it to go to this extent. We didn't, they did. Indeed. In the UK, we convened with members of parliament to encourage stronger regulations. If I look at us in Europe, I do think we can do a lot better. We really hope you learn more about this issue and how it affects your life and your health. It's in the packaging, it's in our textiles, it's in our carpets, it's in what we wear, it's in our cosmetics, it's that far. These new political commitments impact over 500 million people in the EU and could help set global standards on PFAS. And most recently, the EU Commission on Chemicals announced a total phase-out and ban on PFAS in Europe. When COVID hit, we mobilized and went virtual. And our work became even more important. We really have to address this PFAS contamination. It decreases the effectiveness of vaccinating, especially in our children. The kids, this is what it's all about right now. What are we leaving them? This is a battle that is in everyone's backyard. For veterans, it's time to fight. And this is the action that we are encouraging everyone to take. Every one of us can stand up, speak out, and make a difference. So thank you. Thank you for taking action. Thank you for making your voice heard. And thank you to our partners who are still fighting to create a better world for all of us. To learn more and join the movement, visit fightforeverchemicals.com.